Today we will be doing sections 4-4 and 4-5 in your book. Last section you learned triangles were congruent if all six of their corresponding parts were congruent. Today you're going to investigate if you can know that less than six parts are congruent and still know that the triangles are congruent. I'm going to do a demonstration to show you how to use this activity. You're going to be investigating if triangles are congruent when you have three sides, two sides and an angle, either a side angle side or side side angle, two angles and a side as either angle side angle or angle angle side, and three angles. I'm going to show you how to build the triangles and then you're going to check to see if you get congruent triangles. First we'll start with angle angle our side side side. Here we have three segments that are the sides of the triangle I'm going to build. The orange circle lets me drag around the segments and when I go to the ends of the segments a white circle appears which will allow me to rotate those. To build these triangles we want to match up point A with point A. And we want to do the same with point B. and point C. Once you've built your triangle it will fill in. Then you'll build a second triangle and you'll check to see if those two triangles are congruent. If I take away one of these sides and add an angle, notice that this is side side angle. In this scenario, I need to take the vertex of this angle and match it up with point A on the end of this segment. Then I'll rotate the angle around so one side matches that. Then, like before, I'm going to match up point P B with point B, and then I'll drag this until it touches this extended side. If I change this angle to angle B, this becomes side angle side. This time I'm going to put the angle on that end and then match up this side with point B. So the angles in between the two sides. All right, now I'm going to look at two angles and a side. This is angle side angle. So I'll match up. the angles on the two ends to make my triangle. When I change this to point C, I get angle, angle, side. So the side is no longer between the two angles. This time I'm going to put angle C on this side and then I'm going to drag it down until the, the other extended side meets up with point B. The last one you're going to investigate is angle, angle, angle. For this one, we need to match up all the angles and sides. So we put the angles on the extended sides. And then we'll put the last angle where they meet here and match them up. So go ahead and start your investigation with side, 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 angle, side, 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 angle, angle, side, angle, 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 side, and angle, angle, angle. When you're finished, do the triangle congruence activity and fill out the chart. Go ahead and do your investigation now.